Mingo has the ability to track the number of people working on a production line or machine out of, out of the box. You can enter uh, a certain number of people at the beginning of the shift, or you can change that as it goes throughout the day. You also have the ability to clock in individual operators to track exactly who was running on that piece of equipment or that line. This new feature that we've released allows you to calculate the head counts based on the number of clocked in operators. Uh, you do have to have enterprise to enable this feature and use operator tracking, but if that is turned on for you, you will see under company settings an operator head count switch that when you turn on, it will start calculating the head count based on the number of clocked in operators. So as an example, if we go over to alpha, it is set up to do that. So when you first start a production run or you change over, um, if no one is clocked in, it will prompt you to clock someone in. So I'm going to clock myself in here. Now I am clocked in. We have one operator we can see here. Now, if we look at the OEE details tab where we can see all of the calculations, we can see our head count right now is one. Now, if I clock in someone else, so let's clock in another person. It will now update to two. It is weighted throughout a shift and a job. So if you have people coming and going throughout a shift, that number will fluctuate. And that number is used to drive the performance metric. So in the enterprise edition of the product, and actually in Black Belt as well, you can scale your cycle times based on headcount. So for example, if uh, two people can make 60 products an hour and three people can make 70 products an hour. You can set up those, those cycle times in the system and it will calculate those automatically and give them appropriate targets based on the number of people who are currently running on the line. So again, this is a, a great new feature where we're calculating headcount for performance uh, metrics based on the number of clocked in operators rather than a entered number. And you have to have enterprise to be able to use the operator tracking functionality and use this particular feature.